Hello everyone, this is Enix back, and we can start yet another episode of Final Fantasy XIV. We're gonna talk to our Marauder Trader here to get a little bit of a sharper edge on our, our on our axe. The Axe Master told me that you'd be the one uh, on your way. My name's Vernon. Good it is to meet a new Marauder. Now, we axe-wielding uh, wielders build strength and control by splitting boulders. That's right, our traditional method involves smashing a rock with your axe, but you can use just any old swing. You need to hit the rock just so, for his um, fellow marauder is waiting just outside the Zephyr Gate, by the bridge over the Rogue River. She'll tell you how it's done. Alright, so then, we have our first stop. We're gonna head over, and... Split some boulders to get better at being an axe wielder. Sure. All right, then we have made our way over here. Yes, ma'am. How can we get better at being an axe wielder? Greetings, lad. Ready to split some stone, are you? I have three nice hard rocks for you to build up a sweat on. Don't try nothing fancy now. Just hit him with a good solid heavy swing. Yes, ma'am. Our heavy swing is our first attack in our combo. Alright, and where's that third? There it is. Oh, we're gonna need to take out that Gobu at some point. Alrighty. That's the way to do it, lad. Now, you've got the idea. Why don't you take it out, uh, take it up a notch, and use Skull Sunder to break a few more? Alrighty. Where are the next bit of stones? Alright. Do-do-do. Use some Stone Skull Sunder. Perfect. Also, let's go ahead and try and take out this Gobu. I think we can do it. If anything, we can run away. Yeah, we can take him out. Good, I'll give him a little fracture. Put on some blood bath. Reapply the fracture. There we go. Easy pickings. Alright, well, apparently we have to fight a hunt four of those. So next time we'll see one, we'll take one on. Alrighty. Aye, I can see you're a natural. Me head's still ringing with the sound of cracking boulders. Take yourself back to the axe mester and let him know that you're ready for something harder. All right, easy. All right, we've made our way back to the Marauders Guild, and we can turn in our quest. All right, has training loosened your muscles and focused your mind, Enixa? An urgent request to help has arrived from the Red uh, Red Rooster Stead, and I have chosen you to respond. It appears a hostile group of meg megalo crabs has unwittedly elected itself the next test for your power prowess. As this is your first outing an official mara on official marauder's duty, you shall be accompanied with by a veteran conjurer by the name of Sol Withed. She awaits you on the floor below. May devastation follow in your wake. Yes, sir. Oh. Oh, she's downstairs right down here. Alright, Miss Conjurer. It appears you are about to be my senpai. Yes, that was cringy. Aye, Anixa. I know who you are. My brother often has me escort his fledgling marauders on their more dangerous tasks. I suppose Walrosen expects me to give you the details then. Very well. It seems the farmers need us to clear out a megalo crab nest near the Morning Widow in Lower Lanaska. I shall trust you to find your own way there. Just don't forget your axe. I won't. 
Alrighty. Red Rooster Stead. Now then. Uh, let's see. Um, I believe they don't have an Etherite there, but I do believe that they have a Chocobo Porter there. So I'm gonna go ahead and port my little butt over there. Alright, we have made it to Red Rooster Stead. I'm gonna go ahead and talk to the Chocobo Keep. And now we can port here via any other Chocobo port. Now let's see. This is the Red Rooster Stead. Investigate the... Really? Did I go up here for nothing? Ugh. Of course I did. Un momento. Alright. So we've gotten here. This is the Mega Little Crab Nest. And we're gonna just quickly take care of it. Hello, Marauder Senpai. Hmm. It looks like as if nobody's home. Mayhaps they knew we were coming. Aid. I need aid. Pant, pant. Please. It's my grandson. Them slippers have got him. I told Sigurd not to get too close. I told him. Get the weapon ready, Inexa. We need to move. Now. Right. Right. You're not gonna do anything nasty on my watch. Yes. Oh, bugger and shake. Get away from me, you bloody great bastard! Now, you step back there. Hello, kid. I'm here to save the day. You... yeah, you do that. Here and start wheeling on this guy. And on you. And on you. Take care of the little guys first, and then start wheeling on the big one. Come here, you. I'll be dodging my stuff. Come here. Come here. All right, perfect. And all you're you're the only one that's left. Yeah, room for one more. Can't have the novice have all the fun. Oh, thank you. Please. It, will, it, it is much appreciated. Alright. That little kid right there must be very scared. Where are you going? Some of those bastards are harder than damn boulders. Oh, no you don't. Come here. Alright, come here. Alright, looks like easy pickings. Thank you, mister. I thought I was dead for sure. I can't even play outside no more, what with all these scary monsters about. 
Me ma and me dad, they they were both killed by some nasty bugger not long ago in an orchard as big as a mountain. But I bet you could beat it. Aye, make it pay for what it did to me folks. You take it easy now, son. There's a whole good a, a full of strapping lads and lasses like Nixa here who will be glad to do just that. All you need to do is head home with your grandpa and let us worry about that big old nasty bugger. Consider your first duty a success, Enixa. It's time you headed back as well, before Wozen begins to worry I've left your corpse for the crabs. Alrighty. First Marauder quest completed. Oh, we don't even have enough time to, like, get back over there yet. Alright, time to teleport. All right, sir. All is well that ends well. So you have shattered the shells of the megalocraps and saved the life of a child in, in the in into the bargain. The thus does our violent craft provide its merit. Well done, Anexa. Though no longer a threat to the farmers, you shall you should know that it is unusual for such crabs to be found so near the stead. By all accounts, the creatures were. Ousted from their usual feeding grounds by a more fierce beast. The beast of which I speak is known uh, is a known terror in the lands of Lenaska, ever seeking to expand its territory. And that boy's parents were but two of the many victims to fall to its rampage. It is a threat that must be dealt with ere long. Do thoughts of vengeance flit through your mind, Inixa? Nurture those th urges, but do not yet act upon them. This monstrosity is far beyond your present skill. If you were to answer that lad's cry for revenge, then you must grow stronger. Become the raging behemoth its challenge demands. Alright. Let's see here. Eh, nothing of value here. I'm just gonna go ahead and take the gold. Wake of Destruction. Nixa, I have gathered what information I could concerning this beast that that young summer blade bade you slay. The tail's uh, name, the tail's name of this creature, Kujata. Those who have witnessed Kujata's in terrifying flesh also call him the stampeding mountain. Such is his immense size and bulk. Again, I will not seek to dissuade you from claiming vengeance for the boy's parents, in fact I encourage it. But to topple this lumbering colossus, you must first become his equal in strength and ferocity. As a single step towards that distant goal, I send you to um, blind iron mines. We have had word that folks are falling prey to the claws of local Galagos. It is your task to protect the weak from these unruly creatures. Learn to channel that rage inside you and let your axe blade sing in the righteous slaughter. Alrighty. Now then, we need to slay some Ganagos over at the Blind Iron Mines. How do we get there? We can get there from Middle Anaska, and it's over by Red Rooster. Alrighty. Zephyr Gate. Alright. We're here at the Chocobo Cape, and instead of renting a Chocobo, we're gonna take a Chocobo Porter to... Let's see. Let's see here. Slay the things over by... The Red Rooster Perch-ish. Alright. Yes. Now the difference between rent a chocobo and port a chocobo is before we got free roaming, but now I'm using the analog sticks and I'm on a set path. However, that's fine. Alright, and we're just gonna go ahead and disembark and continue the rest of the way on foot.
All right, we are here, and we can go ahead and fight these Galagos. Because we need to be level 15 or something. I had a little bit of a break, ate some dinner, and let's see here. We have to travel to Swift Perch and speak with that person. Ah, yes, I remember now. This is for our uh, Marauder quest. This is our level 10 Marauder quest. We need to uh, fight some lemurs. There we go. Alright, and it looks like that's all we had to do for the Marauder's Guild. Perfect. Alright, we've returned. And we can sp speak with our Axe Master. Alright, we took out care of the lemurs. Welcome back, Ixina. Uh, your actions have saved many a needless injury and anguish. But, but though your efforts are to be commended, there is yet much work to be done. Could Jada, the object of your vengeance, has trampled a farmer's wagon as, a, as he thundered through the lands of Tiller's Rest? The foodstuff spilled from the overturned wain have attracted all manners of hungry predators. Without produce for the market, the farmers will surely suffer for a coin this season. Your duty uh, is thus clear. Put down those ravenous scavengers and preserve the cargo. Alright. Alright, let's see here. Now, he was heading over there. And our best... Ah, we can just teleport to Summerford. One thing you can do is just go to your map. Go ahead and click that little X and or A button, and teleport. Alright. This is our overturned vein. Ah, there's one. A plane strider. Regular old raptor that breathes fire. Alright, oh, two more. Okay, let's give him a, oh, give him a good old overpower. Perfect. we go. Alright. Another uh, quest done wonderfully. Once again, your capacity for carnage has been tested and proven. The creatures you defeated, however, were merely some of the many base scavengers that subside on scraps left in the wake of Kuj Kuj Kujata's rampages. To face Kujata himself, you require more, far more training. But do not despair yet, Enixa. As Axe Master and fellow Marauder, this I swear, I will not rest until I have taught you how to wring every last ounce of strength from your weapon until the blade of your axe slices cleanly through the thickest hide, the most uh, knotted muscle, the dentist's bone. This menace will fall by your hand. You will find yourself drawn to experience Explore the possibilities offered by other disciplines and guilds. These distractions are inevitable, and perhaps necessary. But I urge you to soon return to the path of the Marauder. I do not wish your edge to dull just as you begin to show p such potential. Fare you well, Enixa. Alright, and now you have access to the armory system. Quests to unlock other classes can be undertaken by speaking with the represent, uh, receptionists in the corresponding guilds. There exists a myriad of disciplines in Eorzea that adventurers can take, take up. For the most rewarding experience, however, it is recommended you first focus on mastering your current class. And that is exactly what we are going to do. Alright, 
and we're just gonna go ahead and grab this gold. Alright. Uh, we can't grab that yet. Oh, that's poopy. Well, let's see if we can help some poor sod around in the town. Let us see. Hmm. I don't see anything here. All of that has to do with changing jobs. Uh, let's go here. Let's go to Lower Laminsa. Hmm. Uh, well, how about this? We're gonna teleport to Morabi Dry Docks. And we're gonna see if we can't do any more- Oh, wait, I think we finished Morabi Dry Docks. Hmm. Well, let's go over to Swift Perch and see about another quest we could maybe do. Oh, we could do our uh, main story quest now that I think of it. It was level 14, I believe. Ah, there it is. Yes, sir. Commander Reiner sent word that we'd be getting reinforcements, but I didn't expect him to send you. You certainly look like you've had seen your fair share of uh, action, though you bear little resemblance to uh, wi the wide-eyed whelp I met fresh off the ferry. In any case, do you know what you'll be f you're fighting for here? This place, Swift Perch. It was rebuilt by folk who stood strong in the face of every hardship the calamity threw at their their way, and we're not about to let some fish fancying scum claim the honor of being the ones who finally broke their spirits. Don't give those pirate bastards one bloody elm. You hear me? Yes, sir. Here they come. Here now. I thought all of them yellow jacket worms were was meant to be busy. The useless crag ain't followed the plan, as he. Now what? Pull back and wait for our Sahagan brothers? Psst. On, piss on that. We ain't turning back empty-handed. Remember, no killing the small folk, or it'll be your blood that stains Lord Leviathan's altars. The yellow bellies can be you can butcher at will. Them dirt-eating slugs will be the crust under the full might of the serpent reavers. Seems Swift Perch was the main target after all, eh? Squad 1 and 2, protect the townsfolk. Squad 3, you're on our rear guard. The rest of you, we meet their charge where we stand. Let us bear the commander's word of our victory. Or no word at all. For Limsa Laminsa. Right. I'll gut ye yellow beddies and dance on your gizzards. Alright. Let's see what we are facing. Okay. We definitely want to take out those freaking archers first. Alright. Archers are no good. Let's give some dots going. Okay, all of them are going to be slowly losing HP. Okay. Come on. Right, perfect. Right, alright, alright. Okay, now we can help our little pal L right here. Come on. Oh, uh, they got, we got more coming. Oh, we're gonna need to finish this Diviner. Definitely. A Diviner will heal all the other people if we don't take care of her. Oh no. Oh, and we leveled up. Good. Perfect. I'm gonna take care of this. Thermaturge. Alright. And I'm binded. 
Ah, uh, come on, come on, come on. Combine me. Alright, who do we have? Come on. Right. Let's run over here. And beat up these losers. We definitely want to take care of the brawler first. Yep. There we go. Come on. Alright. Take care of them. And take care of them. So cold. Oh, don't fall yet. Don't fall yet. Come on. You've got a little bit of life in you, right? Okay, come on. We've almost got him. What are you doing? Ah, uh, oh, wait. You, you ain't. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Come here. Look at me. Let's put on some foresight and get to cleaving this guy. Oh, I'm going out of the circle. Oh, I definitely got hit with that. Nope, maybe I didn't. Good. Put on blood bath. And we are fine. Oh, we got pals. Alright. Perfect. Well fought. The Reavers are beaten and scattered. I'll take some men and hunt the down the stragglers. Oh, but there may be more of them lurking about, so don't let your guard down just yet. Good hug. Happy hunting. Hmm? It's you again. You, you were the golem, dude. The source of his strength becomes clear. You may have bested the golem, but you will not fare so well this day. Oh, mournful voice of creation, send unto me a creature of the abyss, my thrall to command, that I may smite my enemies. Uh oh. Your very being impales this plan the plan. You cannot be suffered to live. Here's hoping. Defeat the Masked Mage. Alright, Lesser Gargoyle. Let's see how I fare against this guy. Let's also see about how I fare against you. Because I feel like you are gonna start healing your little mage o friend as soon as you get the chance to. Oh, poison. I don't need that in my life. Put on some Blood Bath. Oh god. Uh, maybe I should fight the guy. Oh god! Ow! Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on! Oh god! Let's run! Oh jeez! Let's run away a little. Let's get into our inventory. Let's use a potion. Oh god! Uh, get out of here! Uh, get out of here! Right, come on. Ah! Oh no! Oh no! Ah! I've been bested. Hmm. I don't think I did that quite right. Ah, oh, and we have to try that all again. 
Hi, babe. These quests, if you don't do the right thing the right way, you get taken out fairly easily. Let's take two this. Alright. Well, let's take care of these brawlers then. Maybe we can save a couple of guys. Alright, come on. Oh, you did freaking second wind crafty bugger. Okay, that's you. Now I'll take care of you. Come on, let's take him out. Take another one out. Come on, come on. Take care of this archer. Viner. Oh, we let's try and save this freaking yellow jacket here. Yep. Come on, you you freaking do that. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Come on. You can keep yourself alive, you can. Alrighty. Head over there. You can do it, you can do it. Come on. We've almost got them down. Haven't lost a single die. Oh. Let's get you. Come on. Steady wins the race. Come on. All right. Haha, -ha, take that. I stunned you. All right. Now everyone can gang up on him. Keep pummeling him. He can't take much more of this. No, he can't. Easy. Alright. Now then. Let's take the second part of the fight. Defeat, defeat the Masked Mage. Alright. Let's just fight this Lesser Gargoyle right here for now. If he becomes a problem later, we'll take him on one at a time for now. Give him a good old fracture. Skull, heavy swing with skull sunder. Poison. Let's put on some foresight. Mwahaha. Wait with film as he eats away through your something. Ugh. I will defeat you. That masked mage, though, he's, uh. A little bit more dangerous than this lesser gargoyle. Where is Spring's front? This, uh, Pentra Natural, uh, might. Oh boy. It's a bloodbath. Come on. I hear something. Yustola! Hey, what's up? Hey, a fearsome opponent against whom you shall not stand alone. Ah, oh, unwelcome best Yes, no matter. All shall be uh, fall before me. We'll see about that. Oh, Yustola, you have come at the perfect time. Oh, 
Ah, oh, your your presence here is greatly appreciated. Power swings afford him no chance to recover. Will do. Come on, fall before our might. Perfect. Thanks. Wisdom of the Paragons should be brought low by mere mortals. Paragons, did he say? Then it is as I feared. They are known as the Bringers of Chaos, or Asians, to give them their pr proper name. It would seem our suspicions were correct. It is they who have been manipulating the Beast Tribes. Hi there, thank you. Pardon? You would like- you would know if the- if we Charlians have encountered Asians before? I have never spoken to you of my homeland. How did you know whence I hail? Wait, I do begin to see. You have been blessed with a special gift. Are you alright, lad? If I'd known a mean bugger like that was hiding in the bushes, I would have left a squad or six to keep you company. Well, at least now we can call this kidnapping and investigation to a close. Those reavers were the ones spiriting away, of uh, spearing folks away in the dead of night, and this bastard here was pulling all the strings. A trifle simplistic, but not inaccurate. I came as soon as I sensed his presence, but I never thought to find such a scene of carnage. Yet we prevailed, and thanks to your heroic actions, I have learned much. I, your heroic, heroic is the word. I don't want to think what would have happened if you hadn't been here, friend. And your assistance is much appreciated too, Lady Yashtola. Please, give us your regards to the Scions. I am glad to have played a role in bringing what I hope is an end to this disturbing state of abductions. The thread of your fate forms a part in a most intriguing, intriguing tapestry. Mayhaps we be afforded a, the chance to speak more in the near future. For now, however, you must see this particular tale to its conclusion. Pray, send my greetings to Commander Raynor. Hmm? Dark Crystal. All right. So now, hello there, friendo. We can go ahead, ahead and go back to the Limsa Lamensa, do our level fifteen Marauder quest, and continue on with the main story. Let's head over to the Marauder's Guild. Hi 
I think first we should go ahead and give uh, Commodore Rainer the know-how that we did a good job. Uh, foe, eagerly have I awaited your return. Word of your exploits is already spreading through the ranks. My troops and I owe you a great deal of gratitude for your timely assistance. You have shown yourself to be possessed by a sure arm, a strong spirit, and a sound judgment. Would that Limsa Lamensa had more of your like. I have little doubt that you shall one day join the ranks of Eorzea's greatest adventurers. It is all but a matter of time. Clearly, Baradon's eye for potential remains as sharp as ever, though I doubt he, even he imagined you capable of such feats. Might you favor me with your own account of the day's events? Such victories bear retelling. And so I went to Swift Perch and... Yastrola has been working with us for quite some time, you see. And she only is she was only too willing to assist the Yellow Jackets in the kidnapping investigation, proving herself a stalwart ally of Limps Lamensa yet again. Needless to say, after your part in thwarting the attempted sabotage of the victory and the small matter of your deeds at the Swift Perch, you too have proven yourself a valued friend of the Theocracy. Admiral! May I present you Admiral Blohistwind? So, this is the adventurer I've been reading about in the field reports. I am Melve Blufisfin, Admiral of Limsa Lominsa. On behalf of my people, I bid you thanks for the deeds you have done this day. A token of our gratitude. What worth is high regard without just reward after all? <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. Since you first set foot in our city, my good friend Baderon and Commodore Rayner have taken turns at regaling me with tales of your exploits. Safe to say, they left an impression. Join me at the coming banquet. A seat of honor at the celebratory feast is the least I can offer the man who foiled the Sahagin. Oh! <laughs> I seat at the feast! Oh, and don't be late. Absolutely, ma'am. Your fellow guests will be eager to take the measure of their newest hero. And some do not take kindly to being kept waiting. Till then, may you walk in the light of the crystal. Oh, she gave me a Lamentian ring. Oh, that's awesome. So, actually the main reason I decided to go with Limsa Lamensal is because Merlewib Blohistwin is my favorite, like, leader. She is the absolute bestest. I adore her. Let us go ahead and do our level 15 uh, quest. I see you've been diligent in your training. You need not tell me in words. It shows in your bearing in your unwavering gaze. It is time for you to once more lift your axe in service to the guild. There have been reports of a sizable creature roaming the outskirts of Aleport in western Lanoska. This monster is not Kajada, but, there, but the threat it presents to the locals is nonetheless sufficient to warrant our attention. It should also prove a worthy foe to test your uh, 
bludgeoning prowess. How to find this beast? Well, I am fortunate enough to count m among my acquaintances a veteran hunter and archer by the name of Rainford. He took up residence in Aleport some years ago and will gladly aid you in this uh, task. With Rainford's assistance, uh, you, are, you are to track down this uh, prowling danger and provide its swift and bloody passage to the afterlife. May your act swing true. All right. Now, Aleport is a little bit northwest, no, nope, I'm sorry, northeast, wait, yes, northwest of Swift Perch. So, I feel, I think, let's see, let's see, ooh, we might also even be able to get here from Limsa Lamensa's lower decks. Let's see about that. Let's head over to the Fisherman's Guild. But yeah, Merlewib is the best. Aleport. Yes, please. The quickest way to get to Aleport. And it always pays mind to look at your map to see if there are any quick shortcuts that you can use to get to certain places. Like this one. All right, let's give us a little bit of a run. All right. Remember to chat up your local chocobo keep. And always attune to the etherite. First thing you do in any town. Hmm. Let's see, let's see. Do we have a trader along our like like a uh, armor trader around here? Ah, yes. Oh, I know what we should do. At some point we need to talk to the uh Hall of Novice and get ourselves properly outfitted. That will be most uh opportune. Let's see. There you are, Rainfeard. One of Vozen's boys, are you? Why, I've known this brat since he was knee-high to, uh, well, he was always kind of a big fella. Was, uh, wo well, he was always kind of a big fella, was Wozen. And now they call him Axe Master. Eh, not a subtle lot, you marauders. So I suppose you are here to hunt down our local trouble. What you need to do then is take yourself northwest up toward uh, Camp Skull Valley and give a good whistle. That mean bugger you're after, his name is Patrankan. By the by, will come running across the weeding plains. He'll think you're trespassing on his territory, see? So you'd better have that cleaver of yours ready. Ross's button be upon ye. Perfect. All right, so head, let's see, head northwest and give a good old whistle. Here's our destination. Now the one thing I would like to know is... Oop. It's a kitty cat. We can whistle when we need to, but there is actually no whistle emote in the... Oh, hello there, friend. Thank you. Thank you. 
Right then. Let us go back to... Limsa Lominsa. Thank you, good sir. Alrighty. Let's see. Rosen. I have been in contact with Rainford, and he has not but praise for you. Inexa, your representation of the guild has been exemplary. There is one more task I ha would have you complete this day. A task that will demonstrate for you just how strong you have become. Report to Springford where he waits on the bank of Aegis Raver, and he shall help you unveil the untapped power of your axe. Alright. Where might this be? Uh Summerford Farms and the Zephyr Gate. I feel like the Zephyr Gate was probably our best bet. Alrighty. Let's see, let's see. Zephyr Gate. We right here are on the Tempest Gate, right? Yes, that's the Tempest Gate. Oh, this will be wonderful. We can just go ahead and take the crystal to the Etherite Plaza. Head over to the chocobo keep, and we're gonna rent a chocobo. Now I believe this is the Zephyr Gate. Yes! And we can just quickly use our little chocobo here to run all the way up there for our quest. And we can just teleport back. <laughs> All right. I lad, I know why you're here. After seeing this big old boulder, I'd wager you know why you're here too. Now, my rock's a bit of more of a challenge than those pebbles Rintana or Rotom had you uh, training on. Your swing must need be brutal to crack this beauty. Impossible, you say? Ha, Wozen wouldn't send you out here if he didn't think you capable. Alright, I know which one you want. I know which one you want. You want this one. Ha! Would you look at that? And on your first attempt, too. Well, I guess it's back to the Axe Master for you. That was easy.
right. I knew you would return before long. The deafening crack of the shattering boulder reached ev me even here. The feat of strength diver this deserve is this feat of strength deserves recognition. You shall have it have it in the form of a new technique adopted and perfected by our guild forefa forebears. The tomahawk throw was first devised by pirates as an opening attack on closing enemy vessels. Though we primarily focus on close quarter combat, you will no doubt find that having a powerful range strike at your uh, disposal greatly expands your tactical versatility. I sense that impending confrontation with Kajata weighs heavily on your mind, Nixa, but hurried swings lead to glancing blows. There is no swift road to attaining the peak of mastery you seek, only a steady, measured ascent. Yes, sir. Ooh, now we're actually gonna take out of all of this the gold because we have a very good method of obtaining some really nice armor and get out of this clothes right then so we have a brand new shiny level 15 axe and i'm gonna end it here however we're gonna be back shortly and we're gonna be doing some more questing well I suppose I can leave, leave uh, I suppose I can finish this off with actually. So what we're gonna do, it, we're gonna do this one more thing and then we're gonna call it a day. We're gonna go to the app castle. We're gonna head over to the Drowning Wench, and we're gonna talk with the Smith. Greetings, I am one of the Smiths, a stoker of fires and foragers of the future. As, de as a dedicated member of the Adventurers Guild, I have been entrusted with the task of providing assistance to new adventurers. Well, well, the mantle of an adventurer does not drape so awkwardly from your shoulders as it once did. But while questing alone certainly brings its own rewards, you haven't truly adventured until you've delved into some uh, darkened dungeon, starred comrades at your sides. Ancient ruins, echoing caverns, and all matter of deadly places lie hidden across the realm, and these are the best conquered in the company of trustworthy allies. As such, advice holds true f for many formidable foe, that would crush a solitary adventure. How one fights in a party, however, is often drastically different from how one fights alone. Thus, we did construct the Hall of the Novice, where we endeavor to prepare you for those difficulties. Hello there. The Hall can be found just north of Aleport in western Lanoska. Within its walls, we offer a uh, blunge... Uh, uh, be Bird, hmm, bludgeoning. That that is bludgeoning, right? Bludgeoning heroes, a berry training exercise. Uh, step into the flames, my friend, and forge the skills you shall need for the morrow. Hall of the Never membership granted. Now, what we can do is just go ahead and start. And this will give us some very nice starting equipment we can use. And some kicking music. Listen up, novice. For this exercise, ye will be learning avoidance. An enemy often tips his hand before a big strike to save yourself some hurt and step clear of the impact. 
sure you've learned to get out of the way and you pass. Are we clear? Let me know when you're ready to begin. Prepared to start then, are ye? Yes. This training exercise is now underway. Watch your opponent carefully. When you see an attack coming, move out of the way. Pretty easy stuff. Oh! These are a little faster. There we go. There's all manners of different ranged and close range attacks that you have to be aware of to dodge. Ne and you can never get too cocky. Can you- Oh! I've got home ganged. Come on, get out of there. And we're fine. Oh! Keeping me on my toes, ooh! As soon as the circle disappears, it is safe to go back into that area. Even if there's, like, fire and stuff. And all good. Do, 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 do. This concludes the exercise. Come see me for your reward. And these rewards are exactly what we want. Alright. Outstanding. Learning to avoid the avoidable of, of the obvious attacks is a skill all adventurers need. Those who insist on standing still won't long survive the profession. Speaking of survival, protecting, uh, perfecting each of me lessons will earn you a piece of armor to help ye in the, your chosen role. You can also repeat this same lesson with the other masters and be rewarded the, with equipment that works best for the students of their combat style. Here's your bonus for completing the exercise. Remember that this training on the battlefield. Alright, so we got ourselves some brand new gauntlets. I'm gonna hold off and equip everything once we have gotten all of our pieces of equipment. It's gonna look nice. Alright, so we can open up our menu, head to Judy, and hold the notice is right there. Exercise 2. All right. Listen up, novice. When it comes to your place in the party, you're a wall of steel what takes the enemy's hits. Soaking up the pain and keeping your mates safe. That's what you need to focus on most during battle. Emony is measured of how badly a foe wants to kill you, and it's your job to be on the top of every enemy's list. For th so for this exercise, you'll be learning about enmity and how to uh, use it. The best way of establishing yourself as a threat, string together some nasty combinations. In your case, I'd start with Heavy Swing and follow it up with Skull Sunder. Easy stuff. Show me your solid straight blows and I'll consider your lesson learned. Are we clear? Let me know when you're ready to begin. I am ready. I am ready to show you that I can be a tank. Prepared to start then, are ye? Yes. The training exercise is now underway. Hit the wooden warrior with your combination. Heavy swing first, skull sunk in the center. Don't try fan anything fancy. Get the order wrong 
four times and we start over. All right, heavy swing, skull sunder. Heavy swing, skull sunder. Heavy swing, skull sunder. Heavy swing, and skull sunder. Auto attacks don't come. There we go. All right. And this concludes the exercise. Come see me for your reward. Use that combination in battle, and you'll build up, I'll build all the enemy you'll you need. And when faced with a single foe, it's the simple method that often's the most effective. Here's your bonus for completing the exercise. Remember this training on the field of battle. Thank you. Alright, that's lesson two. I believe there's a total of seven. That you, It was either five or seven. I th now that I think of it, I think it might have been seven. Alright. Exercise three. Alright, what can I do? Do you recall how you build enemy in the last exercise? This time you'll be testing that combination on a proper opponent. I've said it this before, lad, but it bears repeating. Your job is to soak up the pain and keep your mates safe. And you do that by directing the foe's enemy onto yourself. If your ally is standing at the end of the battle, I'll count that as a win. Are we clear? Let me know when you're ready to begin. I am prepared. Oh, there we go. Excellent. This training exercise is now underway. Pound your opponent with your combination, and don't let your ally get hit. Uh, come here, come here. And you skull sunder. Come here, face me. Your foe is- your ally's getting sniped. Grab the attention of myself. Hey, 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 hey. Your ally's getting slaughtered. I'm- I'm doing it. There we go, that's the way. Oof, conjure. Kill yourself up, buddy. Fracture. There we go. Perfect. And this should do it. Perfect. Alright. When a, uh, a party is relying on you to take the hits, you need a, be a need a reliable method of grabbing the enemy's attention. Here's a bonus for completing the uh, exercise. Remember this training on the field of battle. We got some some uh, subatars. So we got some gloves. We got some boots. All right. Fun fact, everyone, this actually is a fairly recent addition. Listen up, novice. For this exercise, you'll learn how to build enmity with multiple foes. Have you ever tried using the overpower technique? It'll let you ag and aggravate an entire group of enemies. Overpower hits every bugger in a cone in front of you. Make sure you're positioned so you don't miss anyone. Are we clear? Let me know when you are ready to begin. This was introduced, like, I think about sometime in December or so. It was, uh, 
a way to help new players get introduced with their uh, roles. It doesn't go into more advanced techniques, but I really like how they designed this. Right then. So, we're gonna wanna use Overpower. If you fail to carry out my instructions five times, you'll be starting the exercise over. So if we use Overpower, oh, got a target first. And they're gonna be... Oh, let's do stand in front of him. Oh, not that one. There we go. Nice big cone. Oh, we're gonna wanna use this one. This way. There we go. Oh, same here. Nice, really big cone. Oh, there we go. I feel like... I feel like we can hit everyone from here. Yeah! And this concludes the exercise. Come see me for your reward. Alright. When facing multiple foes, it's all about positioning. Here's your bonus for completing the exercise. Remember this training on the fields of battle. Got some EXP and some nice skill. Making our way through the lessons. All right. Hollow number of novice exercise five. Listen up, novice. For this exercise, you'll be training against multiple opponents. Use overpower to gain enmity with a group. Just like ye practice, be sure that the enemy is only interested in hitting you. Defeat every enemy on the field, and I'll consider your lesson learned. Are we clear? Let me know when you're ready to begin. Yes. Alright. So now we're gonna have to get everyone's attention. Adjust your position so you can hit all your foes with overpower. Once you've gotten the situation under control, you can start using combinations. Alright, so let's go ahead and overpower everybody. Easy. Get everyone in bed. So we're gonna want to take out this partner first. This, uh... Thermaturge. Because this Thermaturge is gonna be dealing us a heavy damage. Our conjurer buddy over there is going to keep us nice and safe with her carrying powers. And next, we're going to want to take out this pugilist. Oh! No, 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 no. Get over here. I want to use Skull Sunder to get attention. And now we're going to want to use Skull Sunder on you to keep your attention. Let's use some blood damage. Let's use some scope fracture. Switching between foes. A quick way to do this is hitting the shoulder buttons while highlighting your skills. Left and right. Alright. Almost done. Alright. And all is good. This concludes the exercise. Come see me for your reward. Do you see how fighting a group called uh, calls for different techniques? If you want it to be the most uh, efficient, you need to switch your tactics to meet the situation. Here's your bonus for completing the exercise. Remember this training on the fields of battle. Ah, yes. We got some pants. Oh, 
that was number five. I believe we have number six and number seven. All right. Number six. Listen up, novice. For this exercise, you'll be learning to establish enmity with a ranged attack. In battle, your enemies won't care not for fair. Stroll into a pack of foes and you'll be asking to get swarmed. And your tomahawk throw technique will be the tool for the job. Rather than blunder into a mob of nasties, you're better off pulling a few at a time from a safe distance. Defeat every enemy on the field and I'll consider your lesson learned. Are we clear? Let me know when you're ready to begin. Yes. So, from our recent job quest, we've learned Tomahawk Throw. And we're gonna put it into practice. Right then. We have our Conjurer friend right there. But the training, the training exercise is now underway. Don't get too close, you don't want to be fight them all at once. Use Tomahawk to break the chunk away from the, the group. Alright, so we're gonna use this. And get the attention of these little automatons. Gonna use a little bit of overpower. Get their attention, make sure. Because I know they're gonna... Our healing friend is gonna start casting Curinus fairly soon. And I wouldn't want them to get there. Go. A little bit of fracture. A little bit of fracture. Another heavy swing. Get a skull sunder. Hey, uh, can you, uh, can you, uh, do your job, please? Uh, let's put on some Forsyth and Bloodbath. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. You, uh, jeez. Where have you been? Were, were you asleep? You, you gave me a downright near heart attack. Alright. Take out these dodos. I think it's best to stick to maybe one at a time. We weren't doing too well with those automatons. Alright. Let's apply fracture. Apply fracture. Are you not dead yet? Die. There, go. there you are. Thank you. What was happening with your AI there, Conjurer friend? Alright, and we can just run up here. Perfect. All right. Let's use a little bit of foresight. It's alright. It's alright. There we go. Duty complete. That concludes the exercise, and I can come get my reward. You see how easy it was to split up that big nasty mob? The situation don't always allow it but often there's a better strategy than CHARGE! Here's your bonus for completing the exercise. Oh, I got a level up.
All right. And I believe this might be our last one. Engaging enemy reinforcements. Listen up, novice. For this exercise, you'll learn to deal with reinforcements. Sometimes there's a uh, latecomers to the to a battle, so you've got to. St uh, wow. If you notice a few new fuel force, don't panic. But keep calm and pick the enemy up with your usual tools. Are they too far away for a combination? Then reel them in with a tomahawk. Once you've got everyone nice and close to you, you can switch to overpower to keep the enemy flowing. Defeat every enemy on the field, now consider your lesson learned. Alright, I am ready. The axe mask the man will call for aid at certain points in the battle. Prioritize taking down the reinforcements. Eat it. Alright. He's throwing in some combinations in there. Oh, let's get him over there. Come here. Come here, you. Oh, no you don't. You stop that right now. Oh. This is very basic combat, but they do a good uh, job of teaching you how to keep your party safe. Come here, you. There we go. A little bit of brutal swing in there. Oh, how did Skull Thunder miss? Come here, you. Almost done with you. There we go. Rounding up reinforcements ain't so hard, eh? Here's your bonus for completing the exercise. Remember this training on the fields of battle. Ah, yes. Then you cutlass. And I was incorrect. We have one more, uh, one more training exercise after this to get the most valuable reward from this these tra training exercises. There we go. Final exercise. It is a field exercise. This is it, the final exercise. As a culmination of your training, all your skills you've learned will be put to the test. Deep br uh, breathe, breathe deep, remember your lessons, and you'll be do fine. Let me know when you're ready to begin. I am ready. Prepare to start then, are you? Yes. Alright. The, ex the training exercise is now underway. Right, let's start with the basics. Keep your foe away from your allies and watch your uh, positioning. We have our little archer friend and our mage over there. 
Oh, we got company. So I'm gonna go ahead and get their attention. And now we have both of them in our sights. Oh. Keep a work on that camera, making sure we see everything around our, our field. There's a little bit of brutal swing. And we got them the we got the stun on them. More reinforcements. Let's use some skull sunder to get their attention. Come here, you. Alright. Previous groups. This ain't no different. All right. Yeah. We hit them all with overpower, and we're gonna start oh, running around and doing some skull sunders. We'll take out one at a time. Throw in a couple skull sunders into the mix. Make sure we have Emily all kept up. guy. Ah, you're near the end. Alright, we just have to take care of this Gobu. This time, without your stola. Come here, you. Gonna stun you with our brutal swing. Give you a bit of more skull summer. Let's throw in a fracture. There we go. Oh. Oh, it sneezed. Remember, we can run right back in there. Give him a little brutal swing. Give him a stun. That's it, that's it. Spell Sunder. Oh. Run out the way. And you can fly Fracture. Run back in. You always want to run back into your spot, because some classes have positionals that they uh, have an easier time getting to. If, uh... If uh, the enemy is held still, some uh, classes do more damage from the back or from the sides. So it's good to always make sure that the enemy is facing one way. Haha. And this should be it. And this concludes the exercise. Come see me for your reward. Perfect. Congratulations on completing me course. Lad, here's a little something to mark the occasion. This ring has an increased EXP earned by 30% when level 30 or below. That is exactly what we need. It is the best item we can get from this exercise. Alright. Oh my goodness, I have been recording a lot today. And I feel like it is about time for us to call it a day. All right then. But I am not about to leave you guys hanging without uh, showing you how this armor looks like all together. So, well, first things first. Always remember to allocate your ability points. I'll go into that later. Right then. We didn't get a headpiece, but we got some brand new armor, some brand new gauntlets, some uh, belt, some new pants, and shoes and we got a brand new ring we're gonna use we have our let's see accuracy and piercing resistance this one's the, definitely the one we want and uh let's see what's this one do withered ring oh that one's really nice those are some nice things that we have equipped to us all right and i think it's about time we retire to an in room All right, 
So, we had a long and productive day. And I say... I'm gonna do this the fancy way. Oh, I cannot do this. Okay, wait one second. One second, I got this. I'm gonna do this the proper way. Ah, that one. We're gonna put it right here. Let's try this again. G pose. Can I do this? Oh my goodness. Goodbye.